Well, Statistics Canada has just released the latest inflation numbers for the month of May. It shows the rate of inflation has dropped to 3.4 percent. Scott Peterson has been going over the numbers. Okay, so this is good news. What does this mean for Canadians? Uh, it is good news in the sense that this is the lowest inflation that we've seen in two years, and so it's going in the right direction. So maybe, just maybe, this will be the end of those rate hikes we're seeing from the Bank of Canada as well. But good news in the sense that it's doing what the Bank of Canada wants it to do, and that has come to the downside. Uh, but there's a lot of questions, Arthi, about how much credit we can give to the Bank of Canada for this happening because really this is on the back of lower fuel costs, lower electricity mm -hmm. costs, gasoline prices, for example, down 18% year over year, and that's good for motorists, and that takes the bite out of inflation for a lot of us. But the real pain here, grocery prices continuing to the upside, 9% increase over this time last year. That's virtually unchanged from April. They're not showing any signs of coming down anytime soon. And you break that down further, Cook Cooking oils, for example, up close to 20%. Cereals, bakery goods, things like that, of 15%. So a mortgage interest rate uh, costs up 30% year over year on those higher uh, mortgage rates that people are paying over this time last year. So this is a good news in a sense that the rate is coming down to the right direction, the direction Bank of Canada wants. But in the other, it's uh, there's still a contingent out there that think we're going to see another rate hike from the Bank of Canada as soon as January or July the 12th, I should say. We're already at 4.75%. That's the overnight rate. So it could tick up yet again before this is all over and that's a sort of a global phenomenon at the same time so we were talking about cost of living food specifically here so you're looking at that long-awaited federal report on food costs in Canada as well what came out of that yes yeah, some uh, interesting recommendations this is from the Competition Bureau and acknowledging that Loblaws Sobeys and Metro and the owners of those uh, franchises uh, have virtually all of the grocery uh, options in the country so they're seeing some interesting things a few points that federal governments municipal and territorial governments should support alternative alternative players to enter the market uh, and because that's hard to do they want uh, the entry of international grocers into the candy market that's a pretty strong statement they also want harmonized unit pricing a loaf of bread cost should should cost the same over here that it is over here and also the governments should limit the property controls in the grocery industry to help new competitors enter the market so some pretty startling things when you start moving into those capital markets to try to make way for smaller players and the, the goal here is to increase competition, saying that uh, Loblaws, Sobeys, Metro have $100 billion in sales just last year, $3.6 in profit, and they want to make sure that, you know, they're doing everything they can to have lower uh, uh, food prices for Canadians. Now, I know you've been talking about this all morning, too, uh, and, and you touched on it here. Do you uh, have a prediction for the next Bank of Canada move? Um, 25 percent of market players believe we're going to see another quarter point rate hike and so it's still on the burner that we could see another one as uh, soon as July. Because of course that's the first question that comes to mind when you see the interest, and, inflation uh, rather. And so, homeowners yeah. it's the first question they have okay. as well. Thank you Scott. Thanks Seth.